Welcome to Friday's Grammar Lesson 6RH. I hope you're still well and working hard. So this is very similar to uh, Lesson 3 that we did the other day uh, with the picture of the poppies. It's another little writing task. I want you to be applying some of the grammar learning and grammar skills that you've picked up over the past few days. The title of this is called The View from the Window. As you can see, there is a boy peering from his what looks like attic window. So that would be the room at the top of his house, peering and he's over and above the clouds. So I've written a very short opener for you to use that might help you start a story. Leaning through his bedroom window, Sam was surprised. The view was not the view that usually greeted him each morning, or even the view that he had wished good night the night before. So that would suggest to me that he has ended up somewhere he did not expect to be. It is for you to either tell the story of where he is or describe what he could see and why he was so surprised. Now, I've also included in your pack some Alan Pete sentence types that I want you to try and use. Last time you were at home doing some remote learning, I set you some work based on semicolons and colons. And that is what I want us to apply uh, today. So here we have a DD sentence and this is one of the sentence types I've set you in your pack and it's the one I'm most keen to see you use. We can keep it very simple and it can be incredibly effective. Now this shows a really good use of a colon. So a DD sentence is description followed by detail. Now if I was looking at the picture of the boy, let's quickly look back at that, you can see that the boy has this amazing view or an unusual view. So that may be what I would use to do my description. The view was unusual, colon. Why was it unusual? He could no longer see the houses on his street. He could no longer see the parked cars, the cats, the dogs running between, between front gates. He couldn't see the street lights. He was greeted with clouds and a vast open expanse of blue. That would help explain to the reader what was so unusual about the view. So the description of an unusual view can then be supported by all those details. I would really, really like to see uh, some effort from you to use that Alan Pete sentence type. I also include a, a some others sentence, which includes a semicolon. For that, again, don't overcomplicate it at this stage. We're just getting used to using it. Some people are greeted by the view of their street and parked cars and other houses when they wake up in the morning. This morning, Sam was greeted by the view of clouds and blue sky. Now, although I haven't used the word others, I have still used some other sentence. I've used a semicolon in the right way. I've paused to break up those two clauses. So just because it's called a some others, don't worry about trying to stick to that too much. Just use that semicolon in the right place, where your natural pause would be when you read it. Good luck. I'm looking forward to seeing some wonderful pieces of writing.